I'm just loving these people from all over the world with this country music connection. So profound and special and to grow in their expression and connect with other human beings. That's just really what it's about. I can't wait to get working with you all. I'm so excited. Same here. Yeah. Me too. I love the idea that Ismay's family is from old, regal, kind of formal part of country music, but Ismay's perspective is really different than anything I've heard in country music yet. I'm Ismay, and I live on Sonoma Mountain, which is in Petaluma, California. When I was about nine years old, my grandfather started a free bluegrass music festival in San Francisco. He had this love for music, but he never had the opportunity to really be a professional musician. But he left behind this legacy that makes it so I don't have to wait till I'm 60 to play music. I get to do it now. Beginning with daylight, stars as I open my eyes. I identify as non-binary, and I use they, them, or she, her pronouns. Being a non-binary person, is sometimes strange to people and might make them a little confused or they might think that they can't relate to me or something. I don't feel like I fit into certain groups sometimes, like with gender or whatever, and that's a little bit hard. When I get to sing, that's the only place in my life that I feel totally whole. I struggle with my own inner voice a little bit. I feel like that anxiety gets control of me, and I get overwhelmed. It makes me hold myself back from dreaming bigger because I worry about criticism. People are gonna try to tear me down. A lot of people do wanna hear sort of the traditional thing, and I know that I'm not that. I'm not the traditional thing, but I believe that the music I make is authentically my own. Being here with an opportunity like this, it's just exciting. I mean, inclusion is important. I feel like I can step up to the plate and show people, this is me, I'm ready for it. But it's definitely scary. Yeah, 